please. Get that nigga Dan Prescott up out of here. Please. He ain't doing nothing. Get that Detroit shit. You feel me? Rep the Detroit. You understand? Hey. Cowboys ain't doing nothing. They don't get rid of Dak. And they gotta get rid of Jerry Jones. Hey, I agree with that one. Question for you. Give How many fourth downs does it take to beat the Cowboys? Whoa! <laughs> 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 and we're, we're walking away quickly on that. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, week number six. It's amazing we're already at week number six of the NFL season. It takes so long before it gets here, and then when it finally does, it seems like it starts flying by, and that's exactly where we are right now. Um, and this is a critical week. Starting tomorrow uh, on my birthday, San Francisco and Seattle. I would love for um, Ginger Rogers to get the win. I would love for the 49ers to take another out. You know, that, and going up to Seattle is a tough place to play. And Seattle is, of course, licking their wounds from the Giants, uh, beating them, and probably wants to get back on track. So we'll see what happens on that one. But I would love to see the 49ers go down uh, even lower tomorrow. Um, the Cowboys versus the Lions. Now, um, you know, when I was on with Dan and things, I was trying to say the Cowboys right now are actually playing with house money. I think. Ten wins will get you in the playoffs, and I think the Cowboys can lose San Francisco and Sa San Francisco and the Lions, and still make the playoffs. If they can win one of those, either one of those games, it would be huge. I think beating the Lions would be so big right now, so big, and it's going to be a tough task. Now, going through here, it's funny because it seems like the Lions. I really begin to hate the Cowboys. Now, I showed you a clip of the, the Lion fan right there that was talking about, you know, the Cowboys and things like that. You know, no, no, you know, it's all fun and games and stuff, nothing personal. But listen to Amon St. Brown um, when he was talking about Jordan Lewis. Oops. Who's your least favorite DB to, to, to face? <laughs> One guy that comes to mind is Jordan Lewis, I think is his name, from the Cowboys. Yeah. I don't talk much unless someone's going to talk to me. You know, I block hard. I do all that. But he was talking crazy. Like, some shit I've never heard before. I'm like, yo, hold on. Like, I'm going I'm to have to go hard on this. Like, he was talking crazy out of pocket. Even J-Mo heard it, too. He was coming in. At that point, it's like, I don't know what he's saying. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make plays, yeah. win the game. I'm not worried about him. Um, but once he starts talking like that, it's like, if I do get a chance to, Put to kill him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> Who's your least favorite DB? That's pretty deep there. Now, you know, the Lions feel like they were cheated, that the refs stole one from them in Dallas, you know, with the uh, call. And it's interesting to see, you know, listening to them. We know that Dan Campbell is a very passionate coach. But it seems like they're building this thing up to be huge that this is the big pay payback this is the coming out party for the detroit lions this is the stepping stone on the way to the super bowl now here's an interesting thing interesting thing the dallas cowboys versus the detroit lions this is where it's interesting they played each other 31 times and um the cowboys have come up top 19 of those 19 and 12 and interestingly enough uh the cowboys have faced the lions uh five times during dak prescott's time and dak prescott has owned them has owned them even better than he's owned the nfc east um this is going to be a huge game no matter how you shake this up um the Cowboys, if they get this win and go four and two, things get a lot easier. If you lose it, well, you're not, you know, a sinking ship. 
you know, three and three going into the bye week in the toughest part of your schedule. You know, when you looked at the schedule and you said Cleveland, people thought Cleveland was going to be great, that you're going to lose that one. Uh, New Orleans, they thought you're actually going to win that one. Baltimore, everybody thought you're going to lose that one, right? So, you know, you started looking at this and people thought we would be probably at best two and three. Some people thought we'd be one and four right now. Uh, basically saying the only team we'd really have a chance against would be against the Giants. And people didn't give us a chance going into the Steelers game. And so that's where you have to take the predictions and just throw them out the window. Um, for the Lions, this game, one, is big payback. This is big payback. And you can always go back into the playoffs. Playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. Playoffs. Um when the Lions felt like they were cheated in the playoffs, um, I want to say closing seconds of that one, some, there was a call that wasn't made or something. I want to say a pass interference that they said should have been called and it wasn't called. Um, and it ended up me, saving the game for the Cowboys and the Lions were pissed off about that. So, you know, we'll see where it goes, but this has been a history of mostly disappointments for the Detroit Lions. Um, I can't wait to see this one. I am hoping, I am hoping that the Cowboys let Tyler Guyton get healthy. Let him catch his breath. Keep Tyler Smith at the left tackle. With Hutchinson, that guy is wrecking teams by himself. And I think this is the one that we want to go ahead and make sure we can get everything we can get from the offense. Uh, the good news is we may be getting Carson back, and we may be getting Deron Bland back, which will definitely help our secondary. And I'm going to say going forward, um, the biggest impact that we have right now uh, or change that's definitely changing the narrative is Mozzie Smith. The last three games has been playing great. Lenvel Joseph was incredible last week. And uh, as well, he was the highest rated player we had. And if those guys can help clog up the middle, man, it's a different ball of wax. And that's something we've been missing for a long, long time. And we definitely going to need that with the Lions. The Lions are really good at running the football. And that's where we typically have our bugaboo as teams that run the football. We had one good week, people. Don't think, because I know there's people out there like, we don't need Micah Parsons. Get rid of him. He's a bum. Trade him. Trade him. And it's like, people, that was just one game. It was just one game. And you can look good for one game. But that's not always the case. All right, you good people. We'll keep you up to speed with this. Um, Micah Parsons does not look like he's going to be playing this week. Uh, he's working with the um, medical staff on the sides. And um, probably will wait until after the bye week to get him back. All right, you good people. Have a great one. And if you are anywhere near the path of this storm, Milton, I'm praying for you. I hope you got the heck out of there because this thing looks like it is no joke. I'm watching some of the news on it. Man, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan, I hope you make it through, bro. Peace.